the day to day the shit change But you know for the most part nothing ain't different Sometimes be stuck in my ways weekend Top in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand I'm chillin' with the troops in my few cans down So I walk like Winston Trust me I wake up hanging You think that I'm leaving this bed You're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No I'm sticking on right at least Okay, time. Eugene What's that? What are you mate? Finally. <laughs> Excited. Nerves. Oh, ah. Loads. Are you feeling it? I feel like I'm going to court, boys. I feel like you're <laughs> the judge right now when I'm getting a sentence. Mate, I like the court fit, to be fair. Aye. That would look, rock up to court like. That would be G rock yeah, up judge to the court. The jailing you straight away. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it, but Because your body can't tell the difference. Like, I'd like to think you're maybe hang, uh, more excited about coming here than uh, you would have been caught, but uh, your body uh, can't see you. When you're shaking yourself or something, you're just shaking yourself. I've spoke about this for time, like, uh, me and Riley's got to be the boy. No, but, uh, bro, bro, honestly, manifested it, manifested it. Oh, and, yes. came and I'm like, <laughs> uh, nah, I've got to go Riley's got to A wee joke book with you uh, So uh, <laughs> <laughs> Expectations like, and shit, uh, <laughs> Cheating on it Cheating on the podcast <laughs> Goes Compared to that, that. I'm not uh, yeah. No a lot of people A lot of people ask us Before they come on Like You want to send us What you've got to ask us And I'm like Do you think we fucking know yet Like we <laughs> They were asking that Of the prep Did you what they're going to say I'm like Mate, we don't know what going to say. No, we <laughs> genuinely don't know. That's why people people come on like that, shake myself up, like, I don't know what for. <laughs> we're just going to see what happens anyway, but we're hey, here, man. Shit, you're still going out, boys, so don't worry. I hear that. I was thinking that, like, another week I was coming in here and I was like, I feel tired because we both work still. Like, this isn't full time yet. And, um, I was shattered and I was like, I'm going to be shite on this, man. Now that way, I just, I'm like, I can't be asked talking to anybody, never mind being pure. <laughs> Great point, Jamie. <laughs> uh, Which but, it never but, is anyway. Then, no, no, I never need to say that. <laughs> but uh, then, I don't know, it's like, you came in, the lights are on, mate. And and it's, it's, all, it it's all good, mate. It's all good. And you've always got that safety net. you gone, this doesn't need to go anywhere actually, <laughs> so who cares? Mate, Fuck also, it. but see, being here, so obviously we're in Strangers Creative. Strangers Barbers. Um, and we are like, just right outside on the Gallagate there, we were talking about that shop, mate. Yeah. It was like the perfect shop. See if, see if you want to get up for something, Aye. bounce in there, you get a fucking Fanta Tropical, you know, it's not every juice you could want. Oh, bro. All the Chris, I was saying, I pure love shops that are just like sugar uh, and like vapes. That's me over the back. <laughs> sugar and nicotine, mate. Vapes, like, but <laughs> Sugar crisps uh, all day long. Wait, what you? What, what's the like? Obviously, we've got a, a fine kind of. You came with a Fanta. Sh- you come with a Fanta. We came with a Fanta, but we've also got a very special guest in the podcast. Now this is a can of Shandied. Uh, <laughs> and some I don't know. Right there. I because we played a practical joke on uh, our producer Joe. Played a little prank on oh, Joe Boy <laughs> and. Uh, I was kidding on, I was going to get him, well, I, he asked me to get him Coke and I got him Shandade instead, but I did buy the boy Coca-Cola. <laughs> he did get it. It's like but a Shandade and Limeade or what? I, I don't know, we're going to, we're all taking a tanny anyway. He says, we're all taking, he says, you're not even getting to saying that, you're all taking a tanny. I'm thinking like, so, so a Shandade's what, lemonade and beer, so it's just ginger beer. It's just mere lemonade and the... Lemonade? What, do you want me to go first? Mate, you end up right. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get a, a 10 right uh, now. Uh, Triple H spit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate, you always do that, mate. How did that happen, mate? Mate, you're a pure liability <laughs> with a can of shandade, bro. You actually fumble the shandade. I'll tell you what, right? I'll tell you what before I try and clean this. Not even getting cleaned up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what happened there was, right? I was out last night tanning laggers. Oh, I, <laughs> I was on the laggers, I'll be honest. Yeah. And I fucking took a drink of that and it kind of tasted like beer. And I was like, oh my God. And then that, if you're like, fumbled it. You need to try it, Eugene. You can't yeah. fumble it. Take a slug at that. To give me, I'm going to, I'm going to, we'll rate it at the end, I suppose. Mate. Boys, that smells like <laughs> carpet or something. <laughs> it's just straight lager, bro. Mate, oh, everybody's spilling it. Oh, what? Mate, oh, what? It will do that, that to you, mate. That like an out-of-date tenants. Uh, mate, that it does, like that's, that's exactly tenants. like a beer that's been lying for like a month. Bro, oh, that I is terrible. That is vile. Joe, you want your juice, bro? Yeah, it smells nah, like my grand's carpet, boys. That's <laughs> mad. Mate, that is a mad, a, cupboard. a mad granny carpet smell, mate. I went in and see that like, Joe I was doing before. I'm don't know doing it anymore, but I used to have to go to hussies to like measure up and all that. And I went and I, I went to his fucking guy's house. And he was like 30 something, <laughs> right? It was like a 30 normal dude, it seemed like. And when I went in his house, it was like, oh, 
like an old granny's house, bro. That is scary. How man. weird's that, bro? It oh, had like covered in shandy. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> had, there was a fucking hole in the bottom of it. <laughs> um, I mate, it had like uh, mad Stinking. porcelain cats and all that everywhere, and mad weird like <laughs> fucking carpets and all that, mate. And it pure creeped me out. But that was it. Now you're saying. Mad granny's carpet taste, uh, that's what that house ta- would taste like, like, I think. That. Aye. Mate, do you, do you remember, I don't know if you want to tell this, right? <laughs> so we can cut this if you don't want to. <laughs> right. the, just when you were telling that, remember the story you told about when you sent the hypnotist to, to, to somebody at the hypnotist house to bed <laughs> <measure> it up? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, can, yeah. Can, we, can you tell that? Aye, <laughs> fuck, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We, we had a moan, but so, this is a hilarious story. Man. So this guy, the Albino hypnotist, right? Great hypnotist. We've had him He's moan. one of the best hypnotists uh, gone about, mate. I think, he, I think he did say... He's uh, like Britain's t- his top five British illusionists or something. Like. Britain's most blonde and hypnotist or something, number one. I think something. he's albino. Yeah. I think he's blind a bit, I know. Aye. Was he blind? Ah, I think he was slightly Aye, blind. So he was a, albinos are, eh? a, wild, a wild character, That's mate. a wild... It's just sort of, Just think about like albino, but that's a nut thing, like just pure blonde and a bit blind. <laughs> Aye, and it's just a pure random mix know, for like a condition in you know it. Something it's like two like... unrelated things. <laughs> like your hair's pure white and you can't see it. I like, it sounds all right at the start. Like, yeah, you have pure white hair, right? So I sound, but I then you're blind and all that. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like some, it's like the gods make all the diseases and he's like, we'll get one man today, mate. He's like, fucking call it albino or something. <laughs> what, I, what did they get? I fucking just... Just picked up at the doors. <laughs> got, got shattered. He's like, just make white hair and bl- blight or something. <laughs> but I, so, so when I first, I was first in contact with this guy through like my work, that were like my landscaping company and that. So I was speaking to him about, I was speaking to him on Facebook about like going to his house to fucking measure up and all that. And I was like, one day he was like, right, so you come around, but he's dead full on and that. He's a mad entertainer guy. So he's <laughs> pure like, and will you be coming round today? And like all this mad stuff. So I was like, I fucking can't be arsed with this cunt. So I sent my big, <laughs> big John run, right? <laughs> to that mad like old guy John, mate. I sent John run and I was like, ah, that's going to be a pure mad interaction. Like a mad <laughs> old guy <laughs> for like Les Mahego or something. Like talking to this mad fucking albino hypnotist about his fucking back Gelden and uh, he came back and the first thing he said he was like why did you send me there like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like what was he like he was just, just like following me he just wouldn't shut up you just want a fucking simple interaction when it's a job like that that's another thing like see when see working in like other people's houses see cause like see cause like see if you're getting work done in your house or your back garden it's like the number one hang on, like you think it's the most important hang aye. in the world. Aye. So it's like, it's a pure big decision sat down with the family and that. <laughs> aye, let's, let's go for the garden. Aye. Let's get the garden done. And then sometimes you'd be doing like five of them a week and you're just trying to get in and out and all that. And people are like coming back to you and it's obviously it's pure, and they're like, I'd be talking on Facebook about it and all that. It's like, it takes their full aye, life, you know, know what I mean? That. And it's just maybe a job face, but you, you can die. Sometimes it gets a bit much. What sometimes it gets a bit rowdy. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> obviously we're only big fans of that Shandy there. No. no. But what is when Get you go? The fuck. See if you go in to the sugar and vape shop, right? Oh. <laughs> and you're looking at a full fridge. What's the one thing you like? Ah, oh, just if that's there, I'm sun getting kissed. it. It's me. Oh. Sun kissed. Sun kissed. A great They're shout. Different. That's a cultured um, man. Uh, sun kissed and sunny D's. The, the sunny D's. Aye. The shop's got some selection of sunny D's. The like, blue aye. one. Uh, blue, red, orange, yellow, red like one's green. nice. Red. I don't know had that. Fire. Mate, the, the blue one's a bit nuts for me. I'm a, uh, I love a blue drink. Like my uh, favourite flavour of drinks, blue. Yeah, uh, same, same. same. <laughs> I love a blue juice. But I'm de- I get dead critical. See if it's not as good as the best uh, of the blues. He doesn't slap how it should. It does not mate. The I was expecting nuts. big things similarly to the Lucas Aid. The boys are mate. Uh, that's a big deal, uh, mate. Uh, I, I was like, in here. They were all like, oh, that's nice. I was like, fuck off, mate. Aye, he's hated it. The sporting's better. The sport uh, one's alright. The sport one's alright. That's different. I'm actually. Looking up better at my bar- <laughs> barber, at <my> barber <laughs> just barber side, mate. <laughs> that looks t- yeah, that. The fruit up, See yeah. if you woke up right and you woke up, you're pure rough as fuck, pure like dry <laughs> mouth and that, and you turn the, it. you're like ah, that can't taste bad. What they call <laughs> it's that? Fucking blue, so, mate. It's like um like melted ice pool. Aye, that is aye. Like a bottle of that. I was yeah, gonna say like, good, do you know what? Do you know what's actual tasty by the way? Where well, it shouldn't it be antifreeze? <laughs> see the shit you put in motors, mate. And it's what, blue. You ate that. It's blue and pink in that, right? And see, cause see, when I was when I was young, I worked in a garage for like a couple <laughs> of years, right? And they said to us like, um, 
they would leave like bowls of antifreeze out, right? Because it's sweet as fuck. So it attracts like foxes and cats and like rats and all that. And they all drink it, but it's poisonous. So they die. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Mate, how terrible is that, mate? I, mate, cats I know. Cats and shit. Mate, it's terrible, mate. Why I was like, kill cats? I was against it, mate. Who's this, this guy? He was drinking it. He this, it was nice. That, mate, no, well, that's what they said. They goes at and see if you ever need to, see if you've got a leak or whatever. This is how I, I, I fucking, <laughs> a mechanical check if it's antifreeze, mate. Just you lick joking. it, mate. And then if it's sweet, it's antifreeze. And I'm like, oh, it's a radiator. Is it that how it's done, mate? Could that's, you drink it? L- listen, guys, no. use, use all like the sausage and you don't like to see how it gets made, all right? <laughs> so you're a mechanic, you've got your ways around nah, telling him stuff. Shan- that's antifreeze. <laughs> <laughs> that's oil. Best that's thing <laughs> That's lovely, that, man. Aye, but that's, that's a good antifreeze. That, that shouldn't be. I think it's sweet because it's like whatever, whatever's in it mm-hmm. to make it obviously the mad chemical or whatever. If but you've got any rodent problems, just stick a bowl of antifreeze in your back. Aye. It's sorted. Can't be asked for a cat, mate. My cat's been doing nothing, man. He's got to be chapping your door. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate. The antifreeze killer, mate. Yeah. Netflix thing about that, by the way. That would be good. Just started with the cats and that. <laughs> Here, here's the thing, right? They're not dead sweet. <laughs> but that will attract them, so you can kill them quickly. <laughs> Evan thought it was a bottle of blue juice. So yeah. <laughs> I have left it out and then when we're all at that, put it in your fridge, mate. <laughs> bottle of antifreeze. Mate, you know Freezing cold me. bottle of antifreeze in the fridge, yeah, if you want it. It looks nice, mate. It Tasty, looks nice. Mate. But um, Eugene, were you, do you travel, do you stay in Dundee still, eh? Yeah, bro. Do you think you'll ever move to Dundee? Nah, my missus went a lot us. Nah? Nah, she's got too much family there. Ah. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd come to Glasgow today. Would you, aye? Oh, I love it. I love it. Do you, aye? Completely different through here. Mate, I feel like you're made to be here. Dundee's such a shitty wee town, man. It's uh, horrible, aye. I love Dundee. He loves it. Do you? I, I don't think I've Dundee, ever... Bro. I tell you what, Dundee's I Dundee's mean. a good night out. What? I, well, I, but I used to go... See, my sister went to Dundee Uni, so I used to go up and go with all her mad student uh, pals, so it was uh, all mad student nights, uh, not, yeah, and it was a wild, good laugh, mate. They're wild up Dundee like that. And, and, and I think crazy. people for Dundee... Out of all the cities in Scotland, that's the closest to Glasgow. Uh, like, see would you people? say so? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, like my big boy Ryan. When we come through here, honestly, they love him. They think he's a big Ouija until they hear him. <laughs> like, Dundonian, and then they're like, oh, I love him even more. Because you act like, feel like you act like you're fake, like uh, East End or something. <laughs> like, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I bounce about it like that, mate. But see the Dundee accent. We've long held the opinion on oh, here. Dundee's the best, the best oh, accent. Oh, Dundee's got a damage accent. Uh, uh, Dundonian accent. A damage accent. It's damage accent. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. There must be so many words we say differently. Like, what would you just call like gear like co- cocaine? What would you just call that? Is that you just got a mad word for that? No. White coke. Nah, uh, just white. That. that. You've got a good gene. Gammon. That's a canvas language. <laughs> Two bit of gammon. I swear to God, like, see, people for canvas language will genuinely talk to each other with a straight face and be like, ah, you get you get any gammon? Nah, I've got I've got a couple of gram there, I mean. <laughs> Nah. Well, uh, mate, is it, is it good gammon, but? No, but good uh, gammon? Mate, I don't know how. Mate, this is the man. best gammon. This is the best gammon I've ever It's a good nah, code. Just call it white or uh, chai. It's or lovely chai, gammon. Yeah, they call it chai in Dundee. Ch- chai? Oh. Mate, that would be I good like for it. in tunes and that. Uh, the word chai. chai sounds good that in a chai, tune. Yeah, that's what uh, they call it. Have so you ever what? used that in a tune, though? No. no, just because I don't, don't talk about that stuff. Nah, no, I mean, like, I mean, hate it. I'm Aye. so against chai. Don't Aye. take chai. chai yeah. <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> Don't even try. I'm not chai. chai. Take that chai, right? <laughs> Mate, you know no. you go into schools, anti chai guy. Anti chai guy. Anti chai guy, <laughs> 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 chai guy bro. <laughs> Bowl of shandy, man. <laughs> Bowl of shandy. <laughs> Don't try chai. <laughs> you might die. That's me. So, in Dundee, like, so, like, they call, when they tap like a line, they call it a bifter. I've oh, heard that. I That's a snout That's to a people. To my mum, my mum used to call her joints her bedtime bifters. Can't I mean? That's <laughs> a joint. That's what I was saying. And then over the years, it got into that. Like, oh, we're just had a wee bift, and I was like, what? Aye. I was like, to me, a bifter was a joint, boys. Patsy, Patsy, yeah, Patsy. Yeah, that's, what through here, right? that's a classic. That's what a white. No, that's, that's probably no actually. I think it's like uh, I don't even know if that's English but, or just Scottish. Mm, no, I mean, it could oh, be Patsy, like, that's definitely that's just Ouija. Ah, yeah, that's so that's my wee pal, my wee pal Steve, God rest his soul, he used to a couple of Patsy clients, you're feeling fine. <laughs> I'd never heard that before. He oh, really? Oh, he brought oh. that to me. Like, I thought that was like white spread. Tonic, me. supersonic. That's what he used to say all the time. I, feeling ah, supersonic, yeah, about that's, that's <laughs> that is mad. There must be, there must be others. Aye. What's words that like? Well, we there's a, in Black Hill they call prop Gucci. We we call weed Gucci. Oh, do you? We call weed Gucci, yeah. I see, there's crossovers, mate. 
That's oh, cool. Gucci. Smoking a bit of Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> smoking a good gear. Ah, is that like Carrie? Uh, just, just any good weed really. Aye. Just smoking a bit of Gucci. Yeah. Dog that. A bit of dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I watched a mad ten, video ten on dog. like the evolution of dog and it was like, <laughs> when it came out, it was a mad premium strain not that. 2014, uh, uh, everybody was going nuts about it. And then it started getting like, Mad low, low doing like uh, growers were trying yeah, to do and fucking it up. No, aye, that. that was it, mate. Chinese dog. boys kept going on about that, mate. Right. The Albanians fucked dog uh, up, mate. mate they like, like two million pound grow just got busted up next to ours, man. What? Did that? Two million. Still holding back on the dog. Oof, mate. I seen a mad. Just two million worth of dog, straight dog. <laughs> <laughs> straight dog. <laughs> two million dog. worth of dog would need to be a bad fucking. It was a, big... a warehouse, like it was a warehouse. Was it, mate? Got caught, eh? Oof. It was right across the road to the police station, too. Mate, right across the road. Mate, I've spoke to. I don't know. I've spoke to somebody that grows in that and he bought a flat next to a yeah. police station. He said, that's like, the, he's like, ah, they're not going to be out looking at their fucking, looking outside the fence with the heat scanners. He's like, they're going to drive a bit first. That's stuff. a mental yeah, philosophy. For, like, just get as close to the police as you can and just sell drugs for there. I hope they're charging it up. No, that are charging up the heat guns. <laughs> it's crazy. I man. think that's what the day anyway. Uh, like, it will be that one for the lights and that. Because uh. I remember seeing them, I remember seeing fucking shit about like uh, cunts getting busted because see when it snowed on the uh, tap for the flat, uh, it's like there's no uh, snow. Aye, yeah, aye, yeah. that's, that's, that's a classic. That's terrible. You know what's about, man, but loads, man. You know, so you can just look at the houses when it's snowing and you see this like that. Aye, uh, yeah, aye. Yeah. Summing up there, it's half a hot. Aye, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. It's good insulation, folk. Aye, uh, sunbed and that. It's actually good insulation. Aye, sunbed and that. 40 sunbed. So 40 sunbeds in the loft. That's a good cover, mate. The council came out to my house because they thought I had a grow because my fan in my, ba- my bedroom, no, my bathroom made a mad noise. And then they came out and they brought ladders. They couldn't even get in the loft with them. I was like, are you alright, mate? I was like, here, he is mine. He's like, what you got them for? I was like, to get in my fucking loft. Like, what do you mean? How the fuck did they find out about that? Cause you could, you were able to hear it f- like outside my house, right, right down the closet. Mate, ma- ma- I couldn't have turned my bathroom light on without the fan being on. Aye. So, ooh, mate, mines are like that. Like that all the time. Uh-huh. Mines are like that. And when it does my nothing, see if somebody like, leaves the light on uh-huh. in the bathroom, mate, and hear it all night and all that. I must have thought I was doing a cycle because I was obviously keeping the light on for my wee man at night. Uh-huh. And they were able to hear it at night and know during the day. On the peloton uh-huh. or something, mate. Bath oh, mate. <laughs> Is it? Um, so, uh, actually, I was watching right before I came out here. I was watching the thing you done with. Um, Graham Armstrong. Oh, Graham. How did that come about, mate? He, he's where that, he's got to come on the podcast, I think. Oh, he's um, a legend. Mate, what a brilliant. guy he seems, mate. Oh, mm. um, brilliant, brilliant. He's a legend of a guy. Like, aye. I got on it because of Yona Mack. She, I think she must have spoke to him about it and they just got in touch mm-hmm. with me, aye. They were talking to somebody else for Dundee and then that fell through and then they must have asked Yona Mack, is there anybody else? Mm-hmm. And they just phoned us, eh? He's aye. class, Graham, man. He turned up to any of my shows and on. He brought his missus to any of my shows and on. He's brilliant. Oh, aye. Yes, aye, he's brilliant. I love him. I'm dying to speak to him. Aye, he's oh, class. But he's he's got a new book, hasn't he? Aye, he's got a new one coming. Hopefully, he comes on. And he can he can talk about it, about it. But it was interesting because I watched that full series and then I remember seeing your episode. But then yeah. I, wa- I watched that again just before I came out to sort of refresh it. But it's it's interesting watching the di- like the differences, like him going to Glasgow, to Edinburgh, like the, 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 the country of Edinburgh, like a lot more, like they act a lot more English. I feel like. That, would you say uh, that's right? Uh, loads of people do that just now in the Scottish scene that uh, are half English. But I feel, do you know what? Uh, it's g- be good to get your opinion on it. I feel like the more I listen to Scottish stuff because, so, I, I would always listen to like English dra- uh, drill and shit like that. That's what like comes to London and that. And then, but see recently, mate, I've really only been listening to like Scottish tunes. Like I'm, I'm getting more and more like same that's what I'll go man. to first. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I don't like listening to any, any of the people that are Putting on a sort of English, English accent. accent. Nah, fuck up. Nah. Yeah, I can't be true listen. to yourself, man. Be true to yourself. What's the point? Mm. Go to England and do that. I You're know. Scottish, man. Fair do, so it's for a, for a marketing point, it's, there's there's quirks to it and that, perks mm-hmm. to it. You're going to do that, but stay true to yourself. I, 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 I didn't it. even want to rap, so never mind rapping an English accent. Fuck up. Mm-hmm. I know. It's just, it is heavy on that, show, I, isn't it? I've pure noticed uh, see, like, Irish drill rappers, they're, oh, like, yeah. they're, they're dead English, mate. Like, they mm-hmm. actually sound like they do, like, because there's a lot of Irish rappers mm-hmm. that rap Irish, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. It sounds class and all, and it's like, see if, see if these people that could, like, the go... Boy like, Ink, the boy Ink, the boy Ink, he's good. He's, he's shit. That's, he proper leans into the accent and all that. But that's how you end up, like, mm-hmm. I was talking to uh, Benny Tina the last time when they were on, it's like, I feel like when I get into, like, the, the mad, see, like, the, the Australian drill group, uh, the yeah, 1-4, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, them, like, see, because, right, so, like, we'll use slang that English people wouldn't understand, yeah. right, like, Scottish people would, 
But then when I listen to like other places I've got their own slang, it makes me want to go and learn it. Learn like it. Th- that's what got me into John Fosbus. I was like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Then the more you learn, the more you understand about the songs. No, so I was, I've been into rap since I was a wee boy, but like, I was like, my mum listened to like American rap and then I found like Dizzy Rascal and N-Dubs in that mm. when I was just a wee bit of old enough to kind of listen to music. And I immersed myself into that, like mental. I could go word for word on so many tunes and like every accent and that. And mm-hmm. when, I, when my pal was like, I think you should do it. I was like, shut up. I was like, well, I'm not going to rap. What would I rap about? And he's like, what well, you've done in your life? And I was like, Aye. what? He's like, you're just like them. You could do it with your own slang and do it this way. And I was like, nah, you can't do that. So man. somebody kind of pushed you in it rather than you being like, ah, why did it? Ah, that's mad, that. My pal, my pal came up. My pal came up to us for a couple of joints one night and he can rap. He can rap. Mm-hmm. And he went to put out a tune. He will not put out a tune. He's Still like, no? No, he wanna do it. He's like, nah, it's too much for me. And then I was like, what if I did it? If I wrote a rap, would you do it? And he was like, yeah. So I wrote two in a queue as just a joke. Aye. Just in my living room joking. And all the boys were around smoking weed and that. And I've rapped it and they've been like, all right, on you go, Eugene. And he's been like, nah, I'm no doing it anymore. I'm no doing it anymore. Like, cause like, he held you? Yeah, I was like, how? And he was like, nah, I'm no doing it. And didn't even show the boys his rap. So all the boys are gonna push in me, like, you should do it, you should do it. And I was like, nah. And it was only like a wee bit of rope. And then my boy, who's my manager now, he came to my house. And he was like, I've, my pal's got a studio. We can go and see if you like it and that. Never looked back, mate. Aye. We did it on one night, shot the video on that. Oof. Put it out and that was it. That's Never mad. That's back. a mad introduction, isn't it? Because Aye. what you're saying as well, like, the stuff you've been through, it's like, you've got shit to talk about. No, I mean, it's not like you're like, one of these cunts that's just like, I don't know, just grew up pure, no dra- nay drama, mm. that, and then being like, right, What's my struggles can I write about? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like that fucking. I didn't. I didn't want to do this. See when I started doing this and like, so see the boy that starts working with Spexy just now, Connor. He's been wanting me to rap since we were in first year, since scale days. So it was like I was in foster care and they were all like posh parents and I was in the posh end and they're like, you've got a mad life. You're this and that. You. I was bringing weed in on it. Ah, you killed the boy, mate. And he's like, you could do that. And I was like, nah, shut up, eh. And see now he's like, I can't believe you're doing that. I was like, ah. He said, I've been saying this in scale. I was like, I can't. That's dynamic, mate. No, that's it just crap. happened. It just happened. That's mad to get, like, um, as you say, like, it's good. Obviously, because you had been growing up listening and all that, it's like, it came quite naturally. But it's mad, like, usually when you would hear somebody that's, like, pursuing rap, it's like, I just, the day dot, I was trying, trying. You get, like, peer pressure. Yeah. yeah. And you're just like, fuck it. And now you're even at the booth, smashing it, bro. I, I used to be sick going to the studio. Like, Aye. that nervous had started Got spewing. Yeah, like, <laughs> that had started spewing. And my boy would be like, the taxi's booked. Let's go. And I'd be like, oh, no, no danger. And we'd go up, we'd write a couple of tunes. And like, I'm a tunes I've been wrote on the spot. Like, then I've been sat, thought about wrote in the house. I've just been, like, the tune I just did an hour ago, I wrote the bars and spat them. And that was it. Just that was it. That do you, do you feel out. like that's a bit, like, do you feel like yeah. that fits you best? I feel like it's therapy, bro. I just feel like mm. we've got a therapy. Okay? I mean, every time I write a tune, it's therapy. Just wait, so in the tap of your head just comes out. That's it, yeah. And so you won't sit, like, I don't know, I, I would assume other even Scottish rappers yeah. will be pure like, right, I'll write that bit and then they'll go back to it and back to it and I'll yeah. oh, change that word. You could have to say that differently. And like, so you don't actually try and put, you just try and go off the top of your dome and be like, this sounds all right, you know? Yeah, like, so when I'm going about my house like that, I'll say, like, I always say we one liners, can kind of just joke in and Aye. Like, oh, that would be a good wee bar. Mm-hmm. And my pal's like, oh, write that down, write that down. And I never write it down. Aye. So recently I've started the writing wee bars down, just mm-hmm. like, I'll go back to, but, yeah, it's just what, how I feel or, if I like the beat, I'll flow on the beat and just go for it. Uh, you know what I mean? That's, that's how it happened. Uh, yeah, I didn't, even now, I didn't see myself as a rapper. You know what I mean, I just see myself as, I'm, I'm still trying to be a rapper, but I just got a guy who raps. A guy so who you, raps. Do you feel a bit like, almost like a mad imposter way where you're bro, like, even, like, even being here, like I was saying, I say to my missus, I feel like I've got imposter syndrome, bro. <laughs> like, but we, people, people come up for me pictures in the street and uh, I'm like, <laughs> like, get a picture and I'm like ah. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know it's, hard, like it's, it's a hard thing it. to get used to mad, I, feel, yeah. I feel like everybody has that mate like mm-hmm. every cunt it's has actually them. weirder if you, you, you're you like ah, nah I belong here mate I'm really like, being here I'm not, like, I think that's actually mad or like, and it's uh, I like, <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking it's me shit <laughs> that's like Kaz Aye, that's yeah, he's like mental <laughs> Aye, he's fucking he's insane mate mental he's if he wants a fight though somebody's in age Mate, you you'd Kaz would be a good fight. I'd have him, I'd have him. You'd, I'd have him. You'd murder Kaz, bro. Put, yeah, Kaz boy. Kaz boy. I'd stop smoking and that. I'd have Kaz, bro. Like, <laughs> like that, boy. Easy days. Up fighting. Did you, have you boxed or that? Never in my life. No. Never in my life. 
Do Never in my life. Mate, you Never can just do it. Never been in a gym like how skinny I am. Never I feel like you would like sign up for that and no treat. Just, I, but I'll just say I feel I the day that. I smoked the most bong. I smoked the most bong. I would stop smoking today. Train and beat him. Start smoking again. <laughs> and they're in. <laughs> oh, no, is there no one coming up? Is Kaz not needing an opponent? He's looking for a summer if event. He's, if he's needing an opponent. Yeah. So when, when he was looking for an opponent the last time, I my pals were in his comments, but I was picking up the bearings for scale. And I was getting tagged and like, didn't they what I was in that? Didn't they what cool. Get a hands, boy, anytime. anytime. But the, I don't even think that's a thing you can say, man, because you've got. I can't like you know. mate, people it's, know who I'm, you are. Like, aye. You've, like, aye. Yeah. He kens what I'm. You can ask his boy Jad, you can ask any of them, they can what I'm. Aye. They just didn't want the hands of for course. your scheme, boy, because they can we fight. We didn't just. <laughs> we'll not be like, oh. <laughs> so, mate, PB, big PB. He's the a scheme boy, mate. Boys, mate. He's a, back, he's he rolled back. He battered years. him. He battered him. He battered him. He battered him. He's a proper scheme boy, mate, and I think you can see. See where like people that ha- have grew up like mad scheme fighters, you can, fighters, see, it. Like, you can just start, see it straight away, see, mate. It's a mad fucking. It's like there's no, f- there's no, a- no a mad fear behind it. Like, oh, I'm in a fight. No, they don't have that. No, they're just like here we go. Aye, we were pure like talk. We were actually like talk like considering like live the next one next year or whatever. Pure training for it. Get me on one, it. I'd, I'd start hitting the gym today, brother. Aye, and I think I think if we signed up for that. Like we were saying to each other, if we signed up and we said, I will, we'll do it. See for that minute, yeah. mate, I'd actually be like, right, yeah, right. Like, because mm. there's me, me and my where you want to turn up. The hills every day. Aye. Like that. Aye. Fucking Go whole chickens for breath, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> <Say eggs. laughs> my boy, my boy Henny, he just fought on street beefs doing in Middlesbrough. Oh, he just man. fought on that. Aye, that YouTube thing? Yeah. Uh, the two boys that fought first, they were meh bald, meh height. I was thinking, I'd jump in and batter the beef of you's right now. Like, I want on something like that. Street, street Beef's the one. Yeah, street Beef's UK. That's what we've watched, but the American we one. We watched yeah. the American one with that in my backyard, and yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. it's no, fucking like Ron, Ronnie man. versus Big Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Big Scarfish. Aye, aye. They're aye. beefing. UK and USA, they're beefing just now. Oh, so they're going to be a, mo- a, ma- a monster card put together. I mean, Money Free is a bounce. I don't, don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> my pal Henny's ring walking on, and I was rapping. It's on YouTube. I was watching that TikTok. Somebody tagged us it. It was like Lugsy doing. Uh, announce it, uh, bringing fucking uh, Oxy B onto the yes. stage at that Kaz thing. Come on. And we're up here to go like, mate, it's so funny that the video is like back so you can see like, all the people that were sitting near us and that, right? And they're all just sitting like that watching them and me and him are actually like that. bouncing about, mate. Mate, Lugs, he's a boy, mate. I love Lugs, no, he's mate, he's some boy. I know, yes. mate, his comments, I, I was on his TikTok and his comments, just, he just gets pounded for the, like, performing to wee guys and that. Aye. Like, cause all, see if you watch his videos, a lot of his performances are like for like under sixteen thing. But mate, if you're if the, if like you're going to make money at the day shows, who gives a fuck, man? Mate, look, I always think about that way. Do you mind fucking mad roll deep used to come? To, oh, mate, aye. did you? Aye. Well, that was like C and Dundee. Did you just get unders? Did you just go to like boom boom under eighteen? Boom, what about on in there? Oh, the about doom, mate. I, I, I wasn't allowed in. I wasn't allowed in. I was I was locked up in like a children's home at the time. So I wasn't allowed to go. Oh, well, you, nah, nah, you missed out in the go. boom, bro. Missed out, bro. <laughs> I went to the Inns in our broth. Mm-hmm. They were called Bally's. I was a bit younger then, though, but we went to the Emmings. They were a bit wild, but Dundee the Inns were meant to be mental, the, like. The, the uh, DNRG in the garage, they actually had roll deep, mate. Like pure fucking. People come performing. What was his name? Mad. What's the mad fucking cunt that's in that? That's actually. Wiley? No. Well, I, Wiley? Was, was I, Wiley? 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 I'm baby. sure <laughs> Wiley was in that video. N- remember that song? We're gonna have a real yeah, good time. Yeah. Don't you worry, cause we're gonna... Mate, that Wiley's in we're that show. Champagne, good. champagne, uh, puppy. High mate, street puppy. The, 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 the best, the funniest thing in that tune is, right? And I didn't even think about the lyric until I looked at the comments. And it, they say, like... Uh, late night shopping on a Thursday see cause like in uh, uh, Britain all the shops are open late on a Thursday and I was like you'd never hear that many other so like, late night shopping on a Thursday <laughs> <laughs> or before the 8 uh, shops open to 10 o'clock oh mate amazing, that's mate. a fucking amazing tune but I, they were they fucking performed to us when I was like 12, 13 and that I mate know, so I it's like I bet they get dough for that mate I bet they walk out there oh. 5G's or something oh, mate yeah. no I mean I bet it would be it's decent I don't know if that's what lugs you'll be getting that's it, a mad mental cunt for like where I stay I, an older one he fucking uh, he get papped out mate he was out his nut and he took a picture up the lassie fair old deep skirt and the bouncer cop <laughs> fucked him out oh my god bro. I know <laughs> imagine getting fuck. papped out for that that's some wild shit what a wild thing I know, bro. Uh, like, what know, that, I know to be like to, <laughs> to be like up <laughs> <laughs> are you going what are you trying to see there what are you and the school like that I look ah man that's like official up husker that's the internet porn mate that's fucking real life shit I'm going to sell this I'll get this. I, 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 I took that. 
was me. So I was from the pool. Mate, that's so creepy. Mate, but, tell you about the mad boy got the unders. Do you oh, I've told that so many times. But I'll tell, no, but I'll tell you again, right? So, Troops, we've got an announcement. We are now offering a seven day free trial on our half B tier over at our Patreon. So that means you'll get access to the end of the episode. When you hear us switching over to Patreon at the end, that means you'll get access to all of those episodes. So why not give it a go? Seven day free trial. You can go right through our archive of every bonus Patreon episode we've done. We've even got a few episodes that are just bonus episodes that we chucked in for that tier at random times so you'll have so much to watch through give it a try it's one week you'll not be charged cancel it before the end if you don't want to be charged but it's it's three pounds a month so it's up to yourself obviously we've got our other tiers a blue flavor boy tier with that obviously you get all the extended episodes but you also get a bonus episode each month you get access to the discord server you get to ask questions for guests and us we've also got the on it till tuesday tier where you get two bonus episodes every month you also get early access to all the episodes and you get 10 percent off merch and then obviously you get everything else that we've mentioned previously and then our biggest tier the goat tier the daddies you get to request an episode it can be eaten really within reason unless you want us to like strip off um we can discuss a price about that uh, but for 20 pound a month you can request an episode it can be anything it can be a conspiracy theory i watch along anything you can think of you get 20 percent off merch plus everything mentioned in all the other tiers so yes get on it troops www.patreon.com forward slash riley's gaff um, apologies if you've heard this. Oh, um, mate, that chair's wild. <laughs> um, so we hung about with a boy. Um, he was a couple of years older than us. So like we must have been about 15, but I think he was like 19 or something, right? So we were all like getting ready to go to the unders and that. And But he would come up and like, play football with us and shit. And he was like, ah, how come we use that? <laughs> right, but obviously... He was old enough. I was old, mate. No, he was like, nah, he could have just went to an actual nightclub. But he came with us, right? And he fucking... Um, and like people, it was obviously like trying to sneak booze in or booze before you go and try and pure chewing gum in, try and get in and oh, that, and then you're bouncing about all night, roll deep up the skirt that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and fucking, so we went, we're in the queue, but they pat you down in case you're, you're under 18, you're taking booze and that, and they can't have that. So like they're like, Tim, he gets to the front of the queue and they're like, right mate, just empty your pockets and that, and he's done that. We his car keys and they're like, they're like, ah, let's see your ID, mate. And he's like, ah, there you go. And he's like, ah, me, you're too old. You got a knockback for being too old. How, How beast is that? No, How dirty would you feel that? That is such a wild knockback. A mad reverse knockback, mate. Know what I mean? Usually it's like the other way about. I back up inside out knockback, mate. <laughs> no, you're too old for this, son. I know. Aye. Nah, but grow up, pal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think like when I was watching that street gang thing. Tell me a bit about that area. Is it is Whitfield? And uh, we were in Curtin. They were in Curtin. Right. That's, that's so no mess scheme we were in. That was like, it's like another scheme. But aye. I got on with other boys there. Like mm-hmm. my boy Henry, I was fighting. He's, they're half there. So like I got on with other boys mm-hmm. there. Okay, I mean. But was it was it mad sort of growing up in the areas? Was it? Uh, my nana, my nana ran the chippy in Curtin for years. And it was wild. Like Curtin's one of the roughest schemes going mm-hmm. like. Even today, like rough, still yeah, bad. Chippy, ah, yeah. The chippies are mad, like uh, oh, yeah. mad HQ for wild schemes and all. No, no, I mean, every kind of thing about inside yeah, it, not. Aye, because uh, when I was watching his video, the wee cunts going by, and the, uh, we had something going by in a fucking uh, like car. Was, like, it wasn't even planned. Like they boys just cruised past, and I was like, "Yeah, we're what? Whip the cameras out. Come back in a minute." And they just aye. went away and came back. Aye. Mental. Fuck, Fuck when the cameras left, more and more people turned up. Like the whole street was locked off for hours. Did they just it find out that there was cameras in that? Like, ah, we're good. Somebody said the BBC were there. And somebody thought it was the bad boy chiller crew. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 so somebody came around around like, are the BBC here? Girl, I, was I like, think what? that I'm in love with you. It was, like, <laughs> it, was, it was the BBC, and he was like, all right, I'm going him then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> love how they get a bigger pool than the BBC. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? like, it's only the BBC, fuck that. Wait, the BBC, bad boy chiller crew, or British Broadcasting I mean, Corporation? I <laughs> thought we were filming a music video with him, and it was uh, mental, it was aye. mad. Mate, that's a mad thing, like, see, whenever there's a mad camera out, like, mind we were in Tuna Heads with the cameras out, and it's, like, the oh. mad... As soon as you've got a camera out in public, it's like, so he's staying there, this is the <laughs> he's news or something. Aye, mate, as soon as you whip a camera out anywhere, man, that's how, like, we, we sometimes do videos, like, vlogs or walking about, uh. like, we done that Pavilion Festival thing where we interviewed people at the festival, but it's... You try to walk about with a camera in public, and that's... Mad, eh? People were just grabbing the camera going... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
What? Why are you date? Like, what made you date that? Mate? Uh, d- drugs, not nah. mental. Drugs mainly. Nah, drugs. Uh, things anyway, mate. Defo. No, I mean at nah. festivals, not nah, mate. That's why. That's a recipe for disaster, it is, that, mate. mate. Unless we start like next time if somebody's right full it's get bring puppets or something freak them out or something aye. <laughs> know what I mean? well we did have the wee bear horn oh we had them a crocodile and a fucking eye we did have some weird, <laughs> aye, weird we did, stuff mate, like that, that we just fucking get through it as easy as we can mm-hmm. man but um the, obviously you were talking about sort of i was listening to you on five O's podcast and something i thought was interesting about how when well, you said you were in foster care and that was it maybe I don't, I don't know how many families you were with, but uh, maybe the first family said they were dead regimented, but uh, you hated them. Uh, but now looking back, you're kind of like, wait, they were doing the right thing? Uh, uh, uh. No, that was my second day. And that was Frank and Margaret. I still talk to Margaret just now. She's like, she's OG. She's she's old enough to be my grand's grand. Mm-hmm. I mean, she, well, maybe not as cheeky. But <laughs> I mean, she's old. Uh, but uh, she, they, 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 they had me regimented for young. Mm-hmm. like the, I was 16 year old. I coming up for 16. I was in at half nine at night and I'm getting uh, the weekend. Well, I didn't get to go with my pals around, so I was like, oh, what? Rebellion. Aye. Just went mental. So you were just kind of used to doing fucking whatever? Oh, aye. For, for six, seven year old, I was aye. about the schemes. I've been called Eugene for I was seven. I've been called Eugene for I was seven year old. You know, the elders just called me that. Just as a, as a, as a kind of wrestler, Eugene. <laughs> I, looked, I, looked, I looked like him. I looked like him, bro. No. I swear I had long curly hair, bro. Oh, I like him. bro. I mate. looked like I was just a wee retard. <laughs> She's floating a bit. Scoffy, scoffy. I had a broken arm. My cast was up to here. I broke it in like so many places at the skate park. And I had a cast up to there. And he just wrote Eugene up it. He just wrote Eugene and I mentioned it. And it stuck. For seven year old, it stuck. I got put away when I was 10, locked up. Didn't get back to Dundee till I was like 14, 13, 14. Stuck. Still called Eugene's Eugene. back. Eugene's back. I think, <laughs> should, I think like, oh. people think it's my real name. I, I, mean, I for ages, I thought, for name, ages I thought it was, and then I realised, but I think it, it just like, it's mental. no, because of the wrestler, uh, but it's because you're quite a mad a character. character. It's like, uh, I'm a Eugene. And I, it, it just, I, I, I think that's it. how we called is it, because I was like a wee character back then, I was mental. Mm-hmm. They used to hear me fighting with teenagers when I was like eight, nine year old. Like go set about him, I mean, run over and start punching fuck you. Just, just, just uh, listen And if the hut is back, they'd go batter them. Uh, it's mad. Bulletproof, bro. Uh, <laughs> was, go, they were was, training you up to be uh, a monster, mate. Uh, and then, nah, but when I got older, they kind of told us you need to calm down. <laughs> really? I, they uh, were at me. You're and, and, they're, and they're mental cunts. They're like, nah, you need to calm down. You're going to be dead or in jail, Eugene. Calm down. Uh, what kind of shit we up to? Just causing it? Uh, loads. Uh, I did anything, bro. I was I did anything. I was mental, like like that, because I didn't have authority growing up. Aye. Like so, it was normal to me to to go at night stealing cars with older people and I, and like it was like stealing cars with people that were like five and six year older than me and staying out the full night. My mum didn't have a clue till the morning. I should wake up and I'd be there. Can't I mean? Aye. So I was out just in madness. Okay. So as I got older, I thought that's normal. Can't I mean? <laughs> yeah, I was just out doing it myself. Standard. Yeah, just out doing it myself, and they're like, mate, that's no right. That's like mm-hmm. that's like pure autistic behaviour or something like that. that's on some sort of criminal spectrum you need to calm down criminal spectrum <laughs> <laughs> and then I just thought like ended up having a burn in that so I calmed uh, down eventually yeah I had a lot of misses in that and calmed down but does that pure hit like that pure change something uh, in oh you a wee bit like G- gives you fear it gave us fear mate I didn't have fear before then mm-hmm. anybody could do anything I'd, I was used to go rob people's grows like serious people's grows like go and tack their full grow and they'd be looking for his cars full and everything fucking catch me Get this out of fuck. <laughs> but like now, if I think that, like, fuck, you know what I mean? Like, aye. they come to my house, my bear and sleep, and what am I going to do that? Aye. Aye. It's not just you, you're looking out for me, aren't you? people to look out for. Aye. And then there's maybe still consequences that still happen to this day, but it was, it was bear and stuff I was doing back in the day, wasn't it? Like, it was child's play stuff, you know what I mean? Just aye. robbing grows and stealing motorbikes. <laughs> the usual. Shit. It's aye. the standard. Shit like that, man. The standard mad. fucking. Was mad. Wait, wait, age me when you had your, your win? 19 when I had my first bear, now, mm-hmm. 19. Probably a good age for that to happen uh, to you then. Uh, I, was, I was going, was, my missus says it all the time. She's like, I could have been visiting a grave or I could have been visiting a jail, like for a long time for you. She's mm-hmm. like, she used to sit in the house and worry, like, is she even going to come home at night? Can't I mean, like, serious. You just Guns that phone and unpredictable. I'm, like, I'm tacking him away and chopping him up, man. Like, he's not coming home. Fuck. She used to be scared. It's mad how, like, f- I presume anyway, how far away that is now, but like, that uh, no feel like uh, a pure uh, other world. I, I didn't leave my house now. I did scale runs, 
shop runs. I'm a dad now. Yes, like, mate. I'm getting old now. Can't, I mean, you I need to do like the whole like TikTok dad life. Nah, that pure yeah. eye. Just getting ready for the school My run. Dylan the family. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just doing every the school morning. run. Every morning. Yeah, I think you should go run. full home, bro. I think you should like, get <laughs> fat and that. And just sit <laughs> with the cans and that. Nah, we're trying to do the rapper life just now. We're trying to do the rapper life just now. Aye. Maybe later on. Maybe later on. Aye, that's it. Because I look young. I mean, I've got... I might not have youth on my side, but I've got the look on it. What age are you? I'm 28, bro. Aye. 20, I was just turned 28 on the 5th of March. You do, you look young, by the way. Oh, 17. Got I, the, the boy went to try ideas in the shop here. We're nearly scrapping in the shop. <laughs> I'm trying ideas for my fags. I'm, I'm like, 28, what? mate. Come inside and I see that. I get ideas to see if I shave, mate. Uh, Bam, it's a game over. As soon as my tash has gone, I only grow this wee tash. Aye. Gone. Just to just you know, get ideas, just be like, mate, tash. Me, me, my I sister would... phones us in sh- the other week and she's like, when did you get a moustache? I'm like, what? <laughs> I went to Easter Day at the shop. You like it? Here, b- by the way, people, we we grew moustaches. We want we grew moustaches in November, right? Yeah, the November. But, but it wasn't even. Fu- it was so that we could have a moustache. Have a mad thing to be like. Ah, it's fucking November, mate. Yeah, no, I mean, but like, I did the same. people have make such a big deal out you having yeah. a moustache. We realised. Yeah, you, but you got that for. Mate, I, I used know, it, I, leave it alone. I had a mad <laughs> my like part when I had the mustache. See when I went out with like my old pals and all that, that would just obviously t- like get torn right into his as soon as he seen his. As soon as I walked in, I was like, I hear you, it's actual fine. Millions of people have mustaches all over the world. That is not a big deal. I promise that. I, I, I can grow. I'd get in before. Getting the stats in and that. I just, what, like, did you know one in five guys have, have had a, a mustache at one point? In life? And this, like, you, you can always shave it, so it's all right, and everybody should calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I let mine grow for a couple of days and then just shave it. Mate, the reason I shaved mine is because I had, like, mad curtains. Uh, <laughs> and I couldn't have cartons and a moustache, man. I just looked too. too I looked too French, that mate. That serial killer look. I uh, was and a Bundy vibe. <laughs> I, mean, I was watching. I was watching something on Netflix about. I don't know if you've seen it about. It's this is like prison in. Um, I think it's in Georgia, in America, and uh, they do an experiment where like they're lo- normally locked locked in their cells for twenty three hours a day, get let out for an hour. Uh, I but they done a thing where. They're all allowed open and there's no guards and they all just need to sort of gas structure yeah, right. made. Mate, it's crazy, it's man. What was that on just now, eh? A net, Netflix, mate. It's called that? Unlocked or something, mate. It's so good. It's like, it's like, you see like the sort of older guys being like, ah, right, we need to come together and run this shit, right? And then you're like, oh, they've fucking sorted it. Mad OGs and that. Like, pure, the are like, like that. Uh, they, get, like, I, they get a pure, an enforcer and then a cam guy and they assemble this mad team of like, we're going to run this and... You're like, aye, this will be sorted. And then all the young ones are like, I'm not listening to these old fucking bastards. <laughs> and that. Like, fuck. It's just funny watching that dynamic. Do you think that would have done well in uh, Pullman? Oh, no. <laughs> Pullman's wild, bro. I was only in there for a few weeks. Whoa. I'll never go back to the jail after that. I was wild. No. Is that the no. one and only thing? Aye, aye. Mm-hmm. Aye, a wee remand. Never again, boys. Tell you, that place is nuts. That's is a bad reality checker in there. Aye, aye, heavy, bro. Heavy. That's what I was... I was like 18, I just turned 18 when I got to jail, man. Fourth. I'd never go back to jail. I, I like my freedom too much. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I was wild, but I wasn't doing shit where I was going to get to jail. Okay? I mean, the mm-hmm. police would never get involved or any shit like that. So okay, I wasn't going to jail. Mm-hmm. But the minute the police were involved, I was a little girl. I'm I was I'll tell you, Swavi's what I know. Don't take me. Just don't take I me. I can't go back to Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> never again, man. That place was. Perth's meant to be. Like a bit better, but it's jail, mate. Why the fuck? Jail, 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 I've got pals that love it. I've got pals that love the jail. That's done, mad, that shit, isn't it, bro? Of years and shit. How mad is it when cunts are like, I no, I like it up there. I like Addy Well. Like that jail, yeah, that jail that. was easy. Like, what do you mean? It's jail, bro. <laughs> I can't go cell. anywhere. I know. It's mental. I see, can't go to the shop. Like, there's cunts that I, there's cunts that actual would just rather have mad routine than all that and all, but like, just have like their food than that and keep them away from the madness. I've got a pal, Lee, he's fucking. I think this, the last two birthdays or something is the only birthdays he's had at the jail since he was like 16 and he's older than me. He's a good couple of years older than me. Just and in and out. He loves, he loves the jail, man. He loves it. <laughs> he fucking loves Isn't it. Isn't it mad just getting, so, getting so used to like somebody being like that, right? You get up at this time, it's your breakfast and you do this and you need uh, to make your bed and you need to do that. And like people get so used to that that when they get out, they can't trust themselves to do uh, it for themselves. Like pure... I'll go oh. down there and that, like, then they just go pure after ales, like, they need that mad strict, like, right. But my boy Davey, he was just out for, what, seven weeks there or something? He was, he was remanded for, like, 12 months, out for seven weeks, he's remanded again. He's, what, like, five years? Anyway, mate, some people, mate. you spend five years of your, 
Like, I, I, I didn't like being in the same house for five years. <laughs> How could you be in a jail for five years? Oh, oh, Are you mad? Just wasted, bro. How could you fathom that? Never me, no, man. No, the Because every, every pet, like, there's an R show. I'm just balls deep in the, the jail experiment shows, but there's another one called I? 60 Days In. Yeah, uh, we made my you, missus love that. Oh, bro, how good is that? that yeah. they're, they're in there trying to mingle, and it's heavy, obvious, uh, that they're no, like, <laughs> a name at all, that they'll go in and be pure. They try and offer them drugs and that, and they're like, ah, I don't want to do that. And they straight away, they're like, what? <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> you you know why they drugs? Want to do we drugs? just started watching, and the boy didn't even mark it through the pure, the process to get in the jail. He's like, nah, attack is out here. And <laughs> like, grabbing his head and that, and I was like, no, nah, It's you, got it full, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I was alright until I was in there. It was like, going in was sounding in. See, when you're in there and you're in that cell, it's like, when you're remanded, you're locked down for 23 hours a day, can't right. I mean? And then you're out for an hour to the next day. And like that, I was sitting thinking like, this can't be your life, man. That's pure mad. That but obviously, when you get sentenced, it changes to like, you're out to your work parties and stuff, but I was just remanded. Mate, it's so mad that they're actually taking like 20 th thirds of your yeah, fucking yeah. sunlight away or like your- A full day, your The man, one that you ever heard about the Black Dolphin prison in no. Russia? Right. No. So this one, they don't have any light in their cells. They cover the window up and like there's nothing right. Oof. And they only get out, let out for an hour a day and they never, they all walk blind. So they blindfold them before they take them out their cell and then walk, fucking walk, like, mad. like walk with them. They're always walking at a 90 degree angle. So they sort of like bend them in and walk with them like with their horns up like that because they, they don't want them seeing other people. So like they want them to feel like they're in there themselves. So like now, now that day, the, that, that way where if you go let out your cell, you fight fair dudes, you've been locked up all day, but you're like, ah, right, lunchtime or right, something. Right. You're like, ah, what's happening? Talking to cunts. Ah, you get his fags. Like, wee things like that, you're having interactions right, still. Man. Whereas they're like, no. Nah. Nice. See, how, see how that mad shooting in Moscow and they went into the right. fucking, the thing, it was like a mad terror attack. Like, right. they just started shooting up people in the, it's like a concert hall thing. Um, they cunts are in that prison. The cunts that done that. That's, that's, your, li that's your life just... Is if it, you're shooting places up, I think you need to be places like that. Aye, aye, aye. I know. Mate, somebody, just ship, ship somebody gets caught bro. speeding, put in there like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. I didn't pay a part. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you have, you don't see any other humans do it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> sixty. <laughs> mate, that's insane. We need to send that. Nah, I think that's a good, that's a good deterrent. But know what I mean? I wouldn't fuck about. Know what I mean? Yeah, like, if Pullman, yeah. if Pullman's the, the worst thing, I can't imagine even, as you say, like fucking two weeks in Pullman. Oh, it was brutal. Imagine knowing that if you fucking Dave, if you shoot yes. up, shoot up a concert, you'll get that. I wouldn't shoot up nothing, bro. I wouldn't like, shoot up nothing. I'd stay away from <laughs> it, mate. I'm, I'm seriously considering. I'm after shooting up shit. I'm honestly sitting here considering no day in a terrorist attack. I might just, I might just chill with <laughs> it. Fucking tap. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first that. guest to say that, mate. <laughs> no, no. mate. What'd you think of it being the first guest in the new studio? I know. Hey, no? I think that's damage. It's class, cool. isn't it? It's an honour, boys. Oh. It's actually an honour. Mate. mate, you've been heavy good, don't hey, I? I watch you religiously, boys. I do. I watch uh, Ahan, boys. And I can't even comment just now because I'm on my son's phone. So uh, it's nippy. Uh, but I'm always commenting. My missus is hanging out of Trust me. Do you know what? Do you know what? It's a good thing as well. We asked them. Um, because someday, I don't know if somebody on your Discord knows you, but Jono. then. Aye. John. John. Shout out John, John boy. Shout out to John. He, he, yeah, he said that. He said, my thing is a shout out. <laughs> John. He loves you too. He loves you too. Oh, yeah, good bro. stuff. Thank you, John. We, we love you. He's a proper love Patreon you, member. And ah, yes, loves it. mate. That's yes. a proper gang. Patreon.com yes, forward like, slash Riley's Gap. Yeah. Yeah. Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash Riley's Gap. There you go. Yes, yes. Um, but he was telling me. I'm not allowed. But my missus doesn't let us. No. no? That's, a, that's an unnecessary payment, man. It really Bro, is. It's, 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 I'm an unnecessary payment. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just say that. Mate, we'll send you. We'll send you all of them. Yeah. yeah. Can I have like, the golden ticket? We'll just say. Oh, hey, fuck you, Peter, on Pears. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what have you been talking about there? Pete, uh, aye, he, so Jono. Jono was saying to me, oh, I should get Eugene on. I said, we've been thinking about that for a good while. It's just, we're moving in that and we're just didn't know what was happening, really. And then we had Benny T and Chavi on and I said to him, I said to him after it, I'm in like a group chat with him and I was like, yeah. is there any other Scottish rappers you think would be good? And you're the only cunt they said. Yeah, that's what Benny said. Uh, Benny was like, I told him you, bro. I told him uh, you. Is, <laughs> he is he coming up to your headline show or something? Yeah, Benny will be there. Ben, me and Benny need to get a tune done. Like, honestly, Benny's oh, been hounding me and I've been like, yeah, we'll get it in a 
just been putting it off and I did the dad life and but next couple of months me and Benny will have a bad uh, he's so oh, good that'll he's be so a good, good tune Benny. Benny. 100% he's are both good how Benny's good is damage Aye. Benny yes. is damage you see that freestyle he did on your thing oh. that was wild oh, that was he's breezy so Chavi I know mate uh, Chavi's freestyle I was actually like these Benny two cunts are he can just keep going and going and going and going like, he's a rapper he's a rapper he is like that way I think he's more that way now you're saying like just see how I feel and it's like a sort of therapy thing where if you're feeling a certain mm-hmm. way you write a tune that sort of gets it out of you and only a pa- yeah. bit of paper and you're sort of mm-hmm. getting it out of you I, he's more the way where he's like this I'm at art and I'm trying to like yeah. the word play and I'm trying he to like perfect it I mean because when I heard him did uh, Mind did on the mad thing outside Ibrox oh, yeah. and he was pure aye I'm like cunts were slot on it being like what the fuck's this and I'm like I was listening to it and I'm like I know that cunt's good yeah, like, that is good mate he's when that fired. video came out we both seen it I was like do you see that man video with Kurt outside Ibrox and you're like how good is that mate and I was aye, like mate, I everybody was slagging mean? at me I remember like putting Twitter like everybody's quoting it pure and obviously Celic fans were like oh yeah fuck it cunt and uh, I remember <laughs> uh, posting it and being like this cunt's actual good by the way and then obviously we got him on with The first I seen him, it was a wee freestyle in a car or something, aye? Mm-hmm. He was in a car when he just started calling himself Benny D. And he didn't be freestyling. I was like, yeah, he's fucking shit out. And I hadn't even rapped yet. Mm-hmm. I hadn't even thought about rapping yet. Oh, oh you had me, no? No. No, you had me. Oh, you had me, you had me. Oh, that's mad for you I saw them rapping. I only started rapping when Spexy brought out. What was Spexy's first song? Right, Melrose. No, the Melrose. Oh, aye, aye. That's when I first, that's when I started rapping. When he brought that song out with Melrose, that's when I decided. I'm going to be a rapper. Was like that the tune you're like, ah, I can do that? See no, Spexy do it. I went, I went to Sherps' video shoot. Aye. And I, and I watched that and I thought, like, I saw the buzz around him and I thought, oh, that'd be pretty cool to, aye. Like, to hear that buzz around you, get what I mean? Mate, I think the videos not look like some laugh, man. Oh, yeah. Like, see, mate, see Spexy's video for aye. Vanguard, bro. Oh, aye. crossovers, oh. fast cars. Don't aye. come and scheme try to act hard. Go, <laughs> dog's damaged. The, the dog's walking in through Cold Bridge and that. The mad cunt just, he's, there's, a mad, mad, there's a mad cunt, he's like lying down on a, <laughs> on a fucking cross or like that. <laughs> he's barely in that. <laughs> <laughs> just having a laugh, what do you mean? Mate, what, what about, is, uh, is Sherps the one that was like, arguing me five of them? Aye, beat right. me five of them, the, the, this is in that Aye, how do you think that scrap would go from it if we go there? Yeah, that'd be a good, yeah, they're two big boys. Aye, right? they're Sherps two big, big boys. as well, aye. Aye, aye, Sherps mm-hmm. gym every day. Sherps in the gym aye. every day. <sighs> big laddie. Why well, I see two big beef that cakes be going at it, mate. <laughs> yeah. Kaz, if you want that on, yeah, we're, on. Bo- we're booking this full thing. <laughs> we could just yeah, make a good Guys, get them on here. And that'd be a brilliant fight. Be a good fight. Who yeah, else we, could we get on? Who else for the kind of rap? So Jenk would be fucking. We could go for it. I don't know, I don't know. Big Jad, big Jad will throw a couple. Big Jad, Jad would, kind of fight. Uh, <laughs> Shut up, mate. Jad, when Jad, Jad would keep at that thing he said he was Jank, like Jad would smash you. Shut up. <laughs> I would bend him over, man. I'd be boy, man. Blindfold him and black dolphin prison him. Yeah, he'd, he'd get black dolphin run. <laughs> <laughs> get black dolphin. <laughs> nah, here, I'd fight. See if, see if it's. Like that, I don't think that car should have fought that property no, boss no. with a waiting hang. He should have fucked that off. What he's like that, what he's put on is shit hot, can't I mean like mm. he's done a great hang. Yep. Keep going with it, but like get the, the fighters matched better and that. Ah, yeah, I mean, it's that it's teething issues, but mate, I don't mean like that. that Higgy, and Higgy and Matty, but they were fucking damaged. I loved that fight. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it is a damage fight. Bro, <laughs> see, we were <laughs> <was> put like <laughs> that. <laughs> bro, we were uh, Did Higgy, you get the stream? Eh, but we ended up just getting it on the boys' live. Aye, because mm. the stream was fucked, wasn't I, it? I put, I put on my Instagram, Waz got the hot link for the, the fight. Somebody went to one, bought it and sent me it. Like, Oof. paid for it and sent me it. Yes. I was like, what? Right on the TV with it, man. I was like, but just... Uh, I feel shy. Like on the TikTok, we know that the phones out with a, t- a different Abbey in a different angle. Ring side, mate, in the living room with five monitors up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Full view. We're, we're able to hear you on the TV. You get, get the commentary from uh, the TV uh, and then watch the fight. So that works. Uh, that's, uh, that's what your dad done, isn't it? Just uh, listen. Because uh, we're, we're, we're on the commentary and obviously we never fucking commentated or anything. We're sitting like that. Kennedy's coming to the ring, man. He looks in good shape, man. As it went on, we were like, just take the piss out of the full thing so it was uh, it was good but mate see like where we were sitting like we were like right in the corner of the ring just right there mate and it was just mad to watch see because like I'm not, I don't think I've ever been that close to cunts aye. in a boxing ring mm. like we were literally for here that's aye. what I was like at that street beef that's aye, what I was like aye, aye, mate, mate mate that because that, that's like fucking they can kick each other in that kid aye, tell us about that like what was that day like so I only got asked today a couple of weeks before my pal 
Paul Kane, Henny, he was like coming down street beef, they were in. And is this the fighter? Yeah. Right. And I was like, fucking right. And like that, I manifested that to you. The minute I saw him on it, I was like, imagine I did his ring walk to my missus. And she was like, what? I was like, imagine me rapping at his ring walk. And then the phone does, and I was like, hey, right, imagine that. That's wild, bro. Uh, boy, loads of shit like this has happened. It's mad. I think I manifested this whole rap shit. I, I feel like I just live in a simulation. And Aye. Be a joypad like, hey, Eugene, you're going to market. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll keep trying. You're a mad wizard, bro. Uh, nah, it's, it's no me. It's, it's cunts up here somewhere. It's jam, mate. We need to praise ja. It's, 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 it's the most time. No, jam, mate. It's, ja, it's all jad. <laughs> Everything that's jad for well, 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 it's all jad. Praise jad. Praise jad. Praise jad. <laughs> but uh, the, when we went down, fuck, all the fighters end up having a brawl in our hand to start off with. All the fighters just start scrapping. And, uh, Which is a warm up? Yeah, bro. It's on. It's, I'll send it on Instagram. <laughs> aye, aye. aye. The, so the commentator, like the, the com boy that commentates it, he he's done, he must have done the bare knuckle fights out of his life. He's got contacts, wears a gold suit and on. He's <laughs> a gold a boy, suit. Kept, <laughs> he does, suits he does. Bro, no, gold that. shoes, the lot, bro. Oh, that's hard I'll fuck. send you. I want that. And then, like, he's he got it on video with him, I scrap, and we went for a munching on, and then, I, like, I was shiting it, I thought, this is because DJ Ironic was there, bro. Kind of <gasps> like, stay away. Uh, but oh. when he was rapping, we couldn't hear him. <laughs> In the in the in the in the stadium bit, and I was like, no, no. What was it in a stadium? Yeah, it was in I was in like a big sports center thing. Eh? Oh, was it? And I was thinking like, no danger. Like Emma, what I go down here? They're not going to be able to hear me. But a boy that we were we was like, want me to come to your levels for you? And I was like, what's that? And he's like, so they can hear you. So I was like, yeah, so my performance was better than DJ Ironics. Uh, <laughs> he was like, you're shit hot, wee man. <laughs> yes, mate, that that's fucking shit, man. Would you think of like performing at things like that? Do you like that? I'll get a buzz. I get a Aye. buzz out of it. I love performing, eh? Aye, I love it. We were thinking like that, because I think that like when Jad done the the Kaz boxing thing, mm -hmm. that was a wee bit out of place, I think, for that. But I think it was like, because it's up Renfrew and that. <laughs> I, I don't know, just know what it's like. Steaming. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. It was like... It's hard because people have been sitting for ages. Nobody was there to see a rapper. Nah, no. Nobody was there to see a scrap. Or a fucking raffle, mate. Exactly. <laughs> oh, but that bird at the start didn't the Craig Tara behave you. What was that about? <laughs> hey, really? What was that about? Mate, I'm just back for Craig Tara. <laughs> We're booked the next couple of months. I love Craig. Carter. Oh, Craig Tara, how good, how good it? Mate, when you're gone, he's about well bounced in. I'm there all the time. I don't want to go abroad. Can we just go Craig Tara? Oh, <laughs> mate, it's paradise, mate. Oh, we were saying, like, I hadn't ever been before. I've been to caravan parts, but no Craig Tara. Mate, see, when we went, I was like, mate, wait till you go to Craig Tara. I know ah. that way I couldn't like, hype it up enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best place. I'm I'll saying, I'm a pal. She's booking Craig Tara. I'm like, I'll go for a weekend. For the closing season. Closing parties, closing parties at Tara. Uh, we've got a crew going this year. Bye. Oh, I mean, you get a full squad. Squads. I mate, you um, I, you were pleasantly I love, surprised. Mate, I turned up and I was like, ah, you could fall in love in here within oh, about uh, five minutes, mate. It's I amazing. Just, I, love I, is in there. In the live lounge with a couple of glances across the room <laughs> with a wee bird. I could see myself, because I seen like, now there's always like football tournaments, like teams for tournaments, uh, staying uh, there and that, and it was like groups of 20 wee guys running past and like, now that way when you're a wee guy and you're trying to flop with a bird you just pull like slaughter or something be like <laughs> you look ugly <laughs> and like, you're that mutant uh, <laughs> young that's, love that's you like being like oh, I kind of like you man. <laughs> and uh, I seen wee guys doing that and I was like oh, you could you could get your heart stolen yeah, you, you get swept yeah, away mate you get swept up in it Nah, and the air's your air, mate. Mate, we took, pff, we were fucking out of our box. We, that, that we, that we, so we stayed there at the Pavilion Festival, Aye. right? But the whole plan was like, we'll go, at, right after that festival, we'll go back to Craig Tara and take mushies, right? Like, right. <laughs> you just at, love the mushies, right? Right, right, <laughs> right, love the right after that, bro, right? But it was like chocolates. Uh, and oh. nah, we ate f far too much, nah, mate. Nah, <laughs> nah, mad. Far bro, no, that way, like, I kept thinking, mind I kept shouting about Rio Hatati. I just kept <laughs> Rio! Because oh, now that way, I was so gone in my heat. Like, those points, like, everybody was just, like, lying down, just like that, like, tripping, just couldn't even... <laughs> because, mate, I, the balance mate, that. I, No, I was about to say about me, I was fucking in a mad, like, so I had a mad fucking... My pure personality, I, like, just melted in front of me. It was wild and it was all black, man. I pure went back in time, not and then I was like, ah, fucking Kaz Mulligan and that. Mind. <laughs> I, he, kept going, he kept rolling about, right? I'm like, you're right, Jamie. He's like, aye, mate. And then he go, mate, fucking Kaz Mulligan and that. <laughs> mate, like, out, 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 what I was trying to say, you go at me. I was trying to say, like, how mad is it that I'm pure flying about the universe and in my head and that cunt just exists back in leaf and that like, uh, <laughs> just doing his hounds doing videos that like that's the real this is the same world you know what it's I mean? hard to uh, it's hard to like 
put it into words, like what you were. Aye. So I remember like I would think about something, right? So I'd think right, I was like trying to pure grip onto reality and I'd be like, I'd try to think about things that would pure bring me back down. I was like, that Celtic Rangers game of water. And I, like, <laughs> try to think. I was like, we were like fucked and I was like, Tim, when you, when you back at work, mate, he was like, mate, why are you saying that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> when, you back, when, when you start back, bro, he was like, mate, go on, you fuck off. <laughs> mate, it was so funny. I went up and fucking, I went up and looked at my phone when I was like coming back to kind of reality, fucking five in the morning or whatever, right? So like, gave me the next day, gone to work the following day. Fucking looked at my phone and I had a text for the guy I was working with on the Monday and his name's Bimbo. And it was like, when you picking me up, mate? And I was just like, where the fuck is going on, mate? If you didn't they recognize my phone, not that, mate. Mad Bimbo. I've never what? took something like I. I've no. never took mushies or anything, man. I yeah. said all that, I'm, no. I'm a pals. Love them. Mate, two, two of my man. best pals. Pure psych, psychedelic heads, boy. I think nice. you can rip, me. yeah, you can definitely rip the arse out of it, but I, I, I'm scared. We, we use it. Recreation. We, we use it recreation. Yeah, that's like no. them, that's like them. We I use guys. it like, because what I think it does to you, it's like, you've got certain mad, like, so like, whatever's going on in your life now, right? So if you think about, but well, like your wains and that, or, or the hoofs and like, I need to do this, I need to write more shit, I need to get back into that. Like, you've got all these mad worries that are currently in uh -huh. your head for like a period of time. Whereas when you take them, it puts like a pure, you were saying it's like a fresh uh, uh, coat. Uh, would you say so, like so a, a fresh blanket of snow on your head? So like it. So, so it's like it's imagine, that. imagine your brain see all the see all the bad thoughts or like uh, negative energy or like um, things that connect, like memories that connect to sadness. Not imagine that as like snows fell and then all your life you've been like walking out of that snow and making it muddy and that and then the snow is all gone that and when you take mushies snow oh, comes again. Mate. Take mushies when I go home, but <laughs> 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 mate, no, that's but see, what that's I tell the, people. No, but that's, like it's kind of mad because it's kind of same like analogy that I have for how, how I smoke weed. Can I mean like if I didn't smoke weed, I'd probably be on antidepressants or mm -hmm. some weird though. Like can I mean like I, I use that to cope sometimes and Aye. I think like that when you smoke a joint, it's, shh, and just fucks off. Mm -hmm. Aye, I mean, yeah. just yeah. it gives you respite and that. My, my like boys have tried to get me to tap mushes loads of times. I fuck the, the last show was it the last show? No, I went to see Potter Paper a couple of months ago and. My boy obviously had mushies in his bag or something. We end up slaughtering him on the bus. He's like, fuck you. So just whipped out his mushies and started. Gubbing them, mate. like, what? Mate, that's all. It, do you know what blows my up? mind about mushies? When cunts that are proper, like, mad psychedelic heads, see cunts that can munch a handful of mushies, bro. What you done, bruv? That blows my mind. I went, I went, you know what? I spewed him up. He went, nah, they're just breath. <laughs> oh, no. Like, <laughs> mate, they taste mania. like actual shite, mate. They taste but, uh, like. I could imagine. They're, cooked, they're like fermented and shit. I could imagine. Boys, we're at an hour. Are we an hour? Oh, we're an hour on the door, mate. See when I check, I just want to say this. See when I looked at that, it was at one zero zero zero. Like it was at one hour. That's mate. mental. Muscle memory. We're gonna switch over to the Patreon. Let's go. You want to hang up? Obviously, yeah, we'll hang, yeah, about, we'll hang about. I feel like we're just. Mate, I don't want you to leave, bro. Be, I know. It's better be mate. on the Patreon. I know. Or cars even more. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna talk about more fights, but um, <laughs> if you're not on the Patreon. Free trial. Show one, man. I know, what are they doing, mate? <laughs> well, we need you to know. forward slash Riley's gaff. Get if you know it. there, get there, boys. Listen to the boy. See you later. Yeah, Cheers. yeah. <laughs>